How's it going? Mad Pad here with yet another car review. Thank you for clicking on my video, by the way. So, standing next to me is a 1986 Volkswagen Golf GTI. And you clicked on the video to watch a review of a Mark VI, which we'll get to in just a second. But I want to show you where exactly that Mark VI came from. So, this is an 86. Uh, it's the second generation of Volkswagen Golfs. They all started in, uh, with the Mark I back in the 70s. All around great car, very fun for enthusiasts altogether. I bought this one in particular to modify it and play with it. I wanted to do a set of BBS RS wheels, get the car resprayed re again in black, and put it on bags like I have my 635 CSI and take it to you know all kinds of VW shows and just kind of play around with that crowd of people since there's a huge following for Volkswagens. It's got the leather interior, it's got a 1.8 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder engine. This car, I mean, altogether is, you know, body wise is okay. It's, uh, it's all original. I mean, it does have some rust on it, but it, for me, it wasn't a problem to restore. I didn't think it would take me much time at all, but unfortunately I don't have the time for it. I found a buyer that's more than willing to, to play with it and have similar dreams for it as I do, which is great. And I'm perfectly happy with that. So with these cars in particular, the Golf throughout the years has kind of kept the same personality. Now they already look like spaceships compared to these cars in particular. So you don't really get offered as much, uh, as many two doors here in the States, like the two door hatchbacks. So you get, you get a lot of, you get a lot of four doors, especially with the Mark sevens. They sell a lot of those in the States. I think once you start heading out to Europe, uh, places outside the United States, you start to see a little bit more, uh, three doors instead of the five door, four door, whatever you want to call it, Volkswagen Golfs. But altogether, they all kept the, the same nimbleness and the same, uh, they, they've gotten quite a bit bigger, but then again, they offer bigger engines. Uh, you know, you have to have more space for people on the inside. So these cars were, you know, great holiday cars or everyday driver cars back in the day. So, I mean, altogether, it's a nice, this one in particular is not really a bad car. It's got, you know, everything is pretty decent aside from some of the rust on the body, but for the right body, man, it's, it's not a bad car at all. So. Let's, uh, let's take a ride in the Mark VI, and uh, let me tell you more about that. Okay, so here is the Mark VI. Now this one is a 2012 Volkswagen Golf. It's not a GTI, don't be fooled by the grill. Uh, that's interchanged source from a Volkswagen GTI. This one is just a basic Golf. So you have the 2.5 liter, this one is the manual transmission. This is, this is a family car, so this one, uh, my parents have owned for about two years now. Put quite a bit of miles on it, maybe say about 30 or 40,000 miles on it. In the time it's been it's been pretty good uh, with it, with maintenance and everything it's been just fine but uh, all in all a great car so I mean as you can see from my 86 to the mark 6 now so from the mk2 to the mk6 uh, obviously there's there's a quite a bit of difference that's going on here but with uh, in general, it's gotten bigger. But looking at the front end here, it's got the GTI headlights, GTI grille. It's got the base Golf bumper, also the base Golf bumper in the rear. Uh, are looking to upgrade the bumpers to GTI bumpers possibly. And uh, the wheels are upgraded from original. So original from uh, originally from Volkswagen, you're gonna get 16 inch alloys or steel wheels depending on your package. And the Golfs, they didn't come with steel wheels, so most of the time you pretty much got alloys. So with this one, we got the 18-inch BBS wheels. Very good option on the car. It's not, it's not a factory option with the Golfs, uh, but with the GTIs, you get, you get a similar looking wheel. So with this one, I found these on OfferUp, and uh, I've been very happy with them. They're BBS, they're genuine. So definitely give it kind of like the GTI look. 
and it doesn't look like a GTI wheel, which you know kind of differenti differentiates the car from a from a GTI. So kind of kind of an interesting color on the car, kind of looks stormtrooper like in the white and you know the black interior. But overall, pretty good little car. This one has about 100,000 miles on it. It's been pretty good on maintenance. Uh, not too bad of a car. And it's, it's fun to drive. It's got the 2.5 liter inline five cylinder, which is a big upgrade over the Mark V generation, over the, over the Rabbits and the 2.5s there. So uh, basically, they, uh, Volkswagen tweaked a few of the issues that were going on in the previous generation. I think the main issue was like the... Um, the timing chain tensioners that were going bad. So with this one, um, it is a timing chain, so you don't have to worry about the, you don't have to worry about like changing a belt, for example. So for the life of the vehicle, you don't have to change a, a chain on it. So uh, very, very good over, over most cars, which is great. So not really too bad in maintenance terms for the engine. So with that sort of stuff, you just really have to keep on top of, you know, uh, with this car you get, um, I mean, a pretty common issue on the Volkswagens of this generation. That, a lot of them do have check engine lights and that's mainly for emissions issues not particular o2 sensors but for like evap systems because the car does have a very intricate evap system pretty annoying but common issue on these cars so if you are looking for one um just know that that is that is a very common issue and uh not to be too concerned about it but um shouldn't be too bad of a fix overall overall very very good car very daily drivable this is this is a great car to drive every day uh drive on long distances so uh, w this is basically the same exact thing as the Ford R. You just, uh, the wheelbase is the same. The only thing that's different are the, are the pillars, aside from moving them over to fit the doors, but it's, it's essentially the same exact car. So pretty, pretty cool little car. Uh, I like it a lot, but let's take it for a ride and see how it drives. And let me tell you about what it's like to drive one. Okay, so now in the Mark VI Volkswagen Golf, it drives very good. It uh, feel, definitely feels very nimble. This car with the 2.5 liter engine definitely delivers pretty well on power. Um, you know, performance numbers aren't really that, you know, that high, but altogether the car drives very well. Uh, shifter feels very good. You could definitely throw it in whatever gear you want and definitely feels very responsive when you hit the throttle. But the really cool thing about these 2.5 liter inline five cylinder engines is they sort of make that that kind of it almost sounds like a Lamborghini V10 in a way I uh, must be just just how they're designed they, they have a really interesting sound to it um, I mean doesn't sound almost like it but it kind of it kind of has a similar sound to it which is which is pretty cool and definitely gives it a bit of a personality just in the car itself Great driving cars, definitely feel very good. Always a big fan of Volkswagens. I've had multiple Volkswagens over the years. I've gone through a few generations. The oldest one I've gotten to was my Mark II. Um, I've had a Mark III VR6 Golf. I've had two Mark IV Volkswagen Golfs. They were all the two liters, so all very good cars. So throughout the years, my favorite has to be the Mark IV. I mean, very good generation. It has to be the two liter with the manual transmission because that turns out to be the most reliable option. 1.8 turbos, I'm not really too crazy about because, you know, they've, they've had a lot of issues over the years. So pretty, pretty good cars. Um, with, with this one though, this one's got about 100,000 miles on it and you know, it's, it, it drives very well, doesn't have any issues. The only things that we've done to it was we've, uh, we've tried diagnosing the, the EVAP system. We haven't exactly finished that yet. So uh, may need some more digging. I think my mom ran something over and screwed up a line somewhere. So also we've changed wheel bearings on it. And since then the car hasn't, hasn't needed any more maintenance other than oil changes, it's had brakes done. So all of it's standard stuff. Altogether, uh, it, it drives nice, feels very limble, nimble. The steering feel is very good. Quality wise on the interior, I really like it. So for a base model German car, it, you know, it feels very good. It feels very solid in the interior. You know, I mean, altogether, being a car guy, you pretty much have to appreciate just about any car there is. But there's just something about the, about the Germans that they understand 
that something, for example, if you were to compare to a uh, Toyota, for example, where you would shut the door and it would feel very hollow, although it would feel very nice closing the door because it has a, you know, it would have a nice sound, but it would feel hollow. Now with, once you start getting into things as, such as the Golfs, you go to close the door and it feels very solid. There's, it almost feels like there's a sense of quality behind it. Now, I know um, you might hear from some Volkswagen haters that these, these things are nightmares for electrical issues and all those kinds of things. But if you buy one that's well sorted and something that you know, was well taken care of, you, you don't have to worry about that. Now, altogether, I, I, like, I like the car a lot. I mean, mileage, mileage is up there not too high but I've seen them with even higher mileage upwards of 150,000 in this generation with a similar engine and you don't really hear people complaining about them having engine issues so they've they fixed whatever they needed to fix out of the previous generation and I think they have a very successful engine on their hands and I hope that that's something they really incorporate into generations coming up very successful engine now the car also drives very good um, it feels very nice with the stock suspension. Now, just now I drove over a pretty uh, bumpy part of the road, which isn't even paved yet, and the car handled it just fine. Maybe you're like, okay, Pat, well, maybe I don't want a base Golf. Maybe I want a Mark VI GTI. Well, what do you get with the Mark VI GTI? With the Mark VI GTI, you get these 18-inch honeycomb looking wheels, about the same dimensions as the BBS wheels on the, on the white Golf. Pretty nice looking wheels, if I do say so myself. Now with the GTI, you also get, uh, sorry, car's parked in the grass. You get these dual pipes with the rear diffuser. Pretty interesting looking. And the exhaust does sound pretty cool. And you also get a little rear spoiler. Now, looking at the rest of the car, you get this little side skirt, just a few of these body components here. And uh, my favorite part, my favorite part of the GTI has to be the interior. Now you get these cool, cool plaid looking insert seats. Pretty nice. And also the flat bottom steering wheel. Now I think that's pretty awesome. But, now I can't show you this car what it's like to drive because unfortunately it's uh it's for parts and uh it doesn't have an engine but uh i wonder what the people were driving it felt like well at least it's a lease that's good don't need a windshield it's uh it saves weight I don't know. I mean, I, I like I like the car a lot. Um, you know, I try to be as biased as possible with some of these car reviews, but I, I do I do like the car a lot. Every car offers offers different things for for the driver, but altogether it feels like a very good car. I mean, for the mileage, for 100,000 miles, the car feels great. There's no weird creaks or there's no squeaks, rattles. I mean, the car drives great. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe and leave a comment. You're more than welcome to start a discussion. I'll do my best to reply as quickly as possible. More interesting car reviews coming up, more interesting cars showing up to the channel as well. So stay tuned, subscribe, like the video, share with your friends. Thank you for watching. See you next time.